What's up? It is Taco here back with a special once in a lifetime video. Women calm down, ladies calm down, wait in line, wait your turn. We're back here and I'm gonna be making the perfect March Madness bracket. If you follow this, I guarantee you oh I guarantee you we will have perfect brackets. It will be legendary, will be known in history, it'll be crazy. So that's what I'm here to do. I'll be making every prediction for every single game in the tournament right here real quick. This is it. Follow this one and you'll be destined for glory. Just for sure. Alright, so let's start off with the East region here. UConn versus Stetson. Stetson is a very good team. But, you know... Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Um, FAU Northwestern. Uh... FAU made the final for last year, so I mean, that probably gives them an advantage in a game like this. And Northwestern's kind of mid. I mean, I'm kind of more of an Illinois guy myself. So I'm just going to I'm gonna have to go with FAU here. It's just the vibes I'm getting, you know what I'm saying? San Diego State and UAB. UAB's pretty mid. So I, I think I, you have to go with San Diego State here. The 5 is a common upset, upset pick. But this is not the one you want to pick. That's just my opinion. You know, don't come after me. But, you know, like I said earlier, if you want to be, you know, be known for glory, you can follow this bracket. You'll have everything you'll need to know. Auburn, Yale. Uh, Yale, I know they beat Baylor one year in the tournament. I know because that was like the whole thing with like how do you, how they get more rebounds and that it was like, well, when you grab the ball after you miss, that's the rebound. And they did, they did that more than we did. Shout out to Toyin Prince. But I, Auburn's probably low key. Auburn got shafted winning the SEC tournament and they get a UConn as a reward. They probably are, they probably should have been flipped with like Kentucky as my, that's just why I think, but you know, it's, it's I'm on the selection committee. I don't know what I'm talking about. I think you have to go with Auburn here. BYU Duquesne, like Duquesne, like have they done anything ever? I believe this is like their first tournament appearance. Like, I don't, there's no way, I mean, BYU, we I'm pretty sure they went into Kansas and beat them on the road. There's no way you, you can pick BYU. I mean, no way you can pick Duquesne here. It's a poverty university. I couldn't imagine actually go, like, going to this college and, like, living there and, like, studying there. That's just, you know, ignore what I say about that. The college I go to probably isn't any, probably more poverty than anything. Illinois, Moorhead State. I know a lot of people, like, you know, make fun of me, say Moorhead's going to go win the, when the tournament, all the jazz, not happening. If I know some people that a lot of people from like you no know, the Moorhead State area, the Kentucky area, think that we're always gonna lose this game. No, Moorhead State they suck. All right, my school played Moorhead State. We actually beat them once. We was it was at home, but we did beat them. Washington State Drake. I mean, this is, you might as well slip a coin. I, I don't think I can really say about this one that can give. And give myself some confidence. I, I just Drake. I feel like Drake always loses in the tournament. They always lose. Like they're always like a ten seed or eleven seed or twelve seed, and they always lose. So I'm gonna get stick with that. Iowa State, South Dakota State. I would say kind of just destroyed Houston. They're like the third team in the country. So like you have to think that Iowa State's the winner here. I don't think South Dakota State. They're also a team that's that's always in the tournament, but they never win games. It all kind of chalk, which I mean, there's there's a good chance that one of these teams, at least at least two of these games, go the opposite direction, or at least one of them. So that's just that's my bracket. It was saying just follow me, Houston Longwood. Sorry, Longwood, you had a fun time. Nebraska A and M. A and M just beat Kentucky. I think they beat them twice, but Nebraska has like the agent Steph Curry, and they can definitely win. But I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go with the first upset with quotation mark. It's a nine over an eight. I'm gonna go A and M here. I think they're better team. Wisconsin, James Madison. Of all the twelve five games, there's an there's a, there's the one that everyone's picking, which we'll get to later on. But I do think that James Madison will beat Wisconsin here. That's just my honest predictions. They'll come out if they lose. That's just what, that's just what I think. Duke and Vermont. Vermont's another one of those teams that's always in the tournament, but they never win. So I don't think it's going to be changing anytime soon. So we're going to go with Duke there. So we have two upsets. Texas Tech at NC State. 
Uh, everyone's going crazy for NC State because they went on that huge run, five wins in five days or whatever. But those teams always flame out in the tournament. It's just all the momentum they get just completely just dies after not playing for like five days. And plus, that's five games in five days. That's a lot of like energy spent. I don't think NC State wins this game. I don't think it'll really be close either. That's just my opinion, though. Kentucky, Oakland. I have a lot of Kentucky fans. I would. It would be funny if I picked them to like you know lose. But there's no way Kentucky's, Kentucky's offense is too good to lose in the first round. So, Florida, and this is going to be Colorado. This is just after the Colorado boys game ended. That game was all right, I guess. I personally do not see any reason to believe that Colorado will beat Florida here. So, I'm going to go with Florida. They did not look very good. Their defense looked really good. So, I could see them. Uh, well, I don't know. Marquette, Western Kentucky. This is like, this is like the 15th seed that everyone's pricking to win. Or is the people are predicting to win the most of all the 15 seeds? I believe the 15s won the past three years. So I don't think it's going to be happening this year. I think it's gonna, that's going to even out. So we'll go with Flor Marquette there. So there, that's the, that was the West. That's the South region, my bad. So this one, this is going to be Wagner. Shout out to them. They almost lost that game too. Uh, North Carolina, that's a pretty obvious pick. Mississippi State, Michigan State. Michigan State. They always win. Like if they're a lower seed, they always win. So I'm just gonna, that's I think that's just the way it's gonna be again this year. St. Mary's and Grand Canyon. This is also probably the best chance for a 12-5 upset, in my opinion. I don't think it's gonna happen. So we're gonna go with St. Mary's here. Alabama and Charleston. You know what? Screw let's go with Charleston. Alabama's kinda they got they got wrecked in the SEC tournament, I think. And they've got they kinda sucked the last couple months. Like I, said, I know a lot of Kentucky fans, so they know a lot more about the SAC than I do. Which is what I've heard, so I'm going to go with Charleston. Why not? Clemson, New Mexico. I think New Mexico does win this. I think they're a really good team. Just came off the Mountain West title. Just know the outward really keep up college basketball, so I really don't know anything about these teams besides like what I've seen from our people say about them. I believe New Mexico won that one here. Baylor and Colgate. It'd be funny if Baylor lost to Toothpaste. If I if I had already picked Charleston to beat Bam, I probably would have picked Colgate here. But we're gonna go with Baylor. Let's go with Baylor there. State in Nevada again. You might as well flip a coin. That's what we're gonna get here. Let's go in Nevada though. Dayton sucks. Arizona Long Beach State. It'd be funny to pick Long Beach because I'm pretty sure the coach is already fired. But he's just like he's coaching them like for free basically. I think. But I don't think it's gonna. They're not gonna win. That's the West region. Then we get the Midwest region. It'd be funny if Purdue lost again. I believe. What team? This is, they're playing Grambling. That's the team they're playing. I don't think Grambling's beating Purdue. Sorry. Utah State TCU. Mm, I think I have to go with Utah State here. That's just that's just why I, that's just my opinion. This one, this is the one that everyone's picking. Maybe you over Gonzaga, but Gonzaga's been really good. I know they beat Kentucky on the road. So I, I do think they beat McNeese. That's just my opinion, though. They'll come after me. Kansas Sanford. This is also another one. Everyone's picking Sanford to win this because Kansas is like their best scorer is out for the tournament. I I'm gonna give them the best shit doubt. I think I'm, I think they're gonna beat Sanford here. That's just my opinion. It's always the obvious upsets are the ones that don't you know turn out the way they're supposed to. South Carolina, Oregon. Oregon came off a Pac-12 title, the last Pac-12 championship ever. Shout out to the Pac-12, I guess. South Carolina is a really good team. I think I'm gonna go. With, I think I'm gonna go with Carolina here. It's just my prediction. Creighton and Akron. That's Creighton. Akron. I mean, LeBron James was born there. That's all they really got. And I don't think LeBron James was playing for them in this game. So, Texas and Colorado State. Colorado State looked really good against Virginia. They cut up their cheeks pretty badly. So you know, I'm gonna go with Colorado. It still doesn't have the games updated, which is really weird. So that game happened yesterday. Unless, unless I just haven't refreshed it. I don't know. Tennessee St. Peter's. Tennessee's got this. So I think. Uh, UConn FAU. I don't think UConn's losing in this bracket. No offense. Auburn can beat them. I do think Auburn will beat San Diego State too. But I do not see uh, UConn losing in this bracket. Especially since all their games are basically right. They're basically all home games. BYU Illinois. 
let's go with Illinois here. I I'm not really Illinois fan, but that's kind of the team I'm rooting for here in the tournament. So we're gonna go with them here. Washington State to Iowa State. You know what? Let's do it. Let's pick Washington State. Let's pick them to win a game. Again, this is the bracket you want to pick if you want to be your, the best bracket possible. So that's just it's just the vibes I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? It's the vibes that give off is that Iowa State will lose this game. Don't come at me though. Houston A and M. This would be a close game. I feel like this would be actually a really close game. I, I feel like. I feel like it's going to be how, how Duke was that one year with Zion there, where they almost lost in the round of 32, and then they lost in the Sweet 16. I think that's what's going to happen here. I think Duke's going to beat James Madison. Texas Tech and Kentucky. Again, Kentucky's offense is really good. I don't think you're losing to Texas Tech. No offense. Florida and Marquette. Uh, Florida's been really good. I'm going to go ahead and give it to Marquette, though. I'm going to get stick them with the win. North Carolina, Michigan State. Um, it's tempting to pick Michigan State here to get the win, but I don't see it happening. We're going to go with North Carolina here. That's just my pick, though. St. Mary's and Charleston. Uh, St. Mary's has to be the pick here. New Mexico and Baylor. And let's, let's go with New Mexico. Why not? I think New Mexico has a good chance to go get a couple wins. Watch them lose in the first round. That would screw up a couple of my brackets. Nevada and Arizona. Again, I don't see Arizona losing this, so we're going to go ahead and give it to them. Purdue and Utah State. Again, it would be funny if Purdue lost. But I don't see this happening. And I do see I do see Gonzaga being Kansas. That's just the way it goes, man. So, yeah. South Carolina and Creighton. Let's go, let's go ahead and give that one to Carolina, because why not? And then we're going to have them go on the face. Tennessee. Let's do that. Tennessee. We got UConn Auburn. It is tempting to pick Auburn, no offense. I hmm, that's an interesting game. I do think we're gonna go ahead and pick Illinois to beat Washington State. And we're gonna go ahead, you know what? Let's go let's pick Auburn. Let's pick Auburn. Let's pick which pick you kinda lose. Because you know why not, right? That's this is the best bracket, so just you believe me or you don't. I do think I do think Duke will be Houston here. That's just why I predict will happen. Kentucky Marquette. Sorry, Kentucky fans. I know y'all might be watching this, but let's go go ahead. Let's go put Marquette there. North Carolina, St. Mary's, North Carolina. New Mexico and Arizona. I think New Mexico's run here ends. They will be defeated by Arizona. New Gonzaga. We got to give it to Purdue here. I do let's go. Let's go with South Carolina being Tennessee, because why not? That's a good pick to have. But the Elite Eight. Uh, Auburn, I do think Auburn would be Illinois. Duke and Marquette. Marquette always chokes. You know what? Let's go ahead. Let's go with the Marquette. Let's have Auburn Marquette to enter the Final Four. North Carolina, Arizona. We're going to go ahead and give it to Carolina. Purdue and South Carolina. We're going to go ahead and give that one to Purdue. So in the Final Four, we're going to have Auburn. North Carolina, and then Purdue with Marquette. Let's go with uh, North Carolina. Oh, do I want to go to Auburn here? Oh, for this game. Man, this gets this game pretty tough, not going to lie. Let's go ahead and go with Purdue and Marquette. This is pretty close. Let's go ahead. Let's give it to Marquette. Let's go with the Marquette. Marquette in the championship game, because that's not weird, right? Auburn, North Carolina. I mean, I feel like Auburn can win this game. Let's give it to Auburn. Let's have Auburn and Marquette in the title game. That's an interesting title game. And in this game... Actually, no, I changed my brain. Give this to Carolina. And we're going to have Carolina beat Marquette in the title game. 90 po We're going to go 100 points scored in this game. Actually, 100, 110. That sounds like a good idea. There we go. And see, this is the, and that's it. That's the perfect bracket. Ignore those taps out of the way. Ignore those. You ain't got to worry about those. Yeah, this is the, uh, in my opinion, the best bracket you could possibly come up with. If you follow this, you're guaranteed to become in history as the first ever tournament challenge winner for a perfect bracket. So, yeah, there you go. I got North Carolina being more kept the final. Boom, that's it. 
right. Copy this. Make money. Guaranteed. Let's get this bread, boys. Let's go. That's it. I'm out.